expanded the vision from just focusing on the child to realizing that no matter how much we do for the child, if we're not helping the family become more stable, find work, get education, address mental health concerns, that the future of that child is probably still in jeopardy. A lot of people in their mind, they say Vogel Alco is an early childhood program or a child care center for homeless children, and they stop at that. But we are so much more. We provide health care, we provide mental health care, we provide care for their children as well as the, the, the adults and the families to move them to stability. Vogel Alcove is a full service, comprehensive program that is built to not only serve young children, but also help those families break the cycle of poverty. And I tell people all the time, the clock is ticking because the research is solid. If you can change the life of a child in the first three years of their life, you will literally change their life forever. It's not easy being a single mom. Going from a shelter to shelter was not a joke at all. But every time I looked over at my babies, I said, I gotta do this. I have to. <laughs> because if I don't, who will? It was a relief because when we first came to Vogel, they welcomed us with open arms. They was very lovable, helpful, supportive. It was by the blessing of God and Vogel. We've been at our own housing for about two years now. We started off on the bus. We have us a car now, and so I have a good job. It's doing really good. I had addiction problems, and hope is not one of the commodities of addiction or homelessness, you know. The Vogel Alcove did give me a sense of hope because of the situation, the hopeless situation that I was coming from. So my daughter was here from the time that she was 15 months old all the way until the time that she started kindergarten. My daughter today is serving in the military. She's in the U.S. Navy and uh, doing very well. The past 10 years, we really focused on taking our core program, which was quality early childhood, and then how do we, did we expand that to families? The next 10 years is gonna be focused on how do we serve more children? It's hard to believe it's been 35 years since we started. There are thousands of children that have been able to get out of the homeless cycle that I know my parents are smiling. And they're really proud about what they used to be. No matter what me and my kids go through in life, I always know that Vogue is going to be home to us and that we can always count on them. I didn't actually have the privilege of meeting Thelma and Doris, our founders, but I have heard many, many stories about them and their commitment to this organization. Doris had a famous quote that was one of her favorites, and, in, and the quote was, if you see a turtle on a fence post, you know they didn't get there by themselves. And that has been true of the history of Vogel Alcove through the 35 years, is that we could not have gotten there or where we are without the support of the Dallas community. Individuals, corporations, and foundations that have supported us through these 35 years. I'd like you to listen and hear about this commitment from some of the voices of some of our donors. If you won't give to the Vogel Alcove and the, taking care of the homeless, what will you do? This is a sort of vital thing to uh, not only the community, but to the families and to the children getting a start in life that are not as fortunate as we want to be. If my mom and dad were here today, uh, they would be incredibly proud and incredibly grateful uh, to all the people who, who were here and have been here every step of the way. But they would say the mission's not over, that we have to continue to give generously. We have to continue to support the mission because this is an important mission that doesn't end uh, because we've celebrated 35 years. It's a mission that will continue and, until we break the cycle of homelessness.